Welcome everybody to the news slash opinions video that I always do. Everything has my opinion, so take it as you will. Hate it or love it, I'm still gonna be here, still gonna be giving my opinions, and still gonna be doing my video. Cover is kicking butt and taking names. The names that is taken right now so far is any color in the sense that they are around the same level. They have officially as of this point where this screenshot was taken, of course things change, but as of the point of the screenshot being taken, it has overtaken uh, Nidhi Sanji and overtaken any color. And of course, um, this is big news. Negligible, of course, yep, they need to become negligible. Faster than anticipated, this is the result of two different strategies. Cover wants to invest more in global projects, any color in domestic market. Nice cook, any color. Made a huge profit by buying covers, any color shorts, so that he shorted the stock. Shorting the stock means that you're, you're uh, a lot of times expecting them to fall, expecting them to not do so well. So if you short, short the stock, if you're a Nidhi Sanji fan and you short a stock for Nidhi Sanji, you are pretty much betting on them not doing so well. And if you are a Nidhi fan, it'll make you sad because you betted on them not doing so well. But here we go. Really wish there was Robin Hood style way to short the, the S out of any color stock. I'd be rich at this point. Again, market capitalization is higher too. And it seems the stock price isn't a fluke with the absolute meteoric rise of the last few days thanks to the ridiculously high amounts of revenue from TCG. Remember, this is one big thing is table card game, the trading card game. The trading card game that Hololive has brought out in collaboration with other large trading card companies. They brought it out. They've made it amazing. People are loving it. They're eating it up. It's just insane. Stock price is one thing, but cover still has them beat in market capitalization. Any color, 133 billion yen versus cover, 137 billion yen in market capitalization. That's the capital they have available for a second. Cover Corp here, 2212, 2198. People are showing the same kind of uh, stock numbers. Of course, with stocks, remember, it always goes up and down, but this is a huge win. Usually they've been below 2000. They've been like the 1700 mark. So they've been considerably below Nidhi Sanji. Now they're on par. And remember, the difference is Nidhi Sanji is in the prime market. It's the prime stock market, which means that that is those, those ones that are expected to always do well, expected to grow, expected to always be perfect. They're like prime as what prime sounds like. And the other uh, cover, I think, is in like the trending or like the, the, uh, the growing market, but not prime yet. So this might push them into prime. We don't know because the volatility of the stock market and the stocks of cover have kind of led them to not stay in the, in the prime market from my understanding. So this is really, really, really huge. And yes, you can see that any color is still dominating Japan, but worldwide is what matters. That's what investors want to see. They see the huge growth in the trading card game. They see the huge growth in, uh, in other things. And they're like, okay, yeah, you know, investments are happening, a lot of money being spent, but a lot of money starting to come in. So this is going to be amazing for them. And I'm very glad to see this. Shy Lily has a condition that has made it hard for her to stream. It is a non-life threatening condition, just to let you guys know. Not to say, oh my god, you're clickbaiting, blah, blah, blah. It's non-life threatening. There is no threat to her life here. But it is a serious condition that she's worried about. Here we go. So I'm really effing scared about tomorrow. Probably get some pretty S news about my non-life threatening condition progressing. I struggled with streaming because of it for a while now because of the pain. I will most likely have to go into surgery soon. The recovery of that particular surgery is pretty S and will be out for probably a minimum of two months. I'm having further consultations, but the general consensus is that surgery can most likely not be ruled out. I don't like sharing health stuff about my condition. It's really uncomfortable, but because it's going to be impacting streaming for a pretty good while now, because this is her, her livelihood. This is her business. This is what she does for a living. I figured it best to share and clear things up and avoid rumors about my future inconsistency. And Numi's like, I love you so much, Lily. Always be there if you need a distraction. Uh, let's hang out soon. I miss you. Sandra, same thing. Sending lots of love. Lily, hope you'll be able to start feeling better soon. When she's talking about pain and things like that, it could be maybe a spinal fusion that she's going to be going for. Things like that. It seems like those are the main things I'm thinking of. Of course, this is my just thoughts and, and rumors in my head. Um, pain wise, that's the first thing I'm thinking of. Something in her spine that is causing her pain sitting down or pain doing what she does normally. Even walking could be a huge pain. Victoria said to yourself, so sorry, my medical stuff is always rough road. No one's journey is the same. The same with healing process. You have wonderful community uh, of people who will always support you. Take it from this hag who nearly kicked the bucket and is now picking up the pieces. What once was, it gets better. Might not be right away, but it does. You can do this. It's okay to be afraid. Know what when, when the darkness comes, we will have torches to light the way for you. Lots of love and my DMs are always open. So she has a lot of support as she deserves. Shalili is a wonderful, wonderful part of the VTuber community. Very wonderful. Yes, she does have her, her little NSFW sides. She still has her, her say so sides, but that doesn't take away from her just being a wonderful human being. Cat Liente, whether you hate them, love them, dislike them, 
A lot of people think that she's a grifter at this point. A lot of people think that she grabbed on to the VTuber stuff in order to uh, get um, more views, which she has. She's gotten tons more views. If you look at her content, she used to be doing stuff like how to become a better uh, streamer, how to do this with streaming, how to set up your OBS, that type of stuff. She'd get a couple thousand views. Once she started doing drama, VTuber drama, other drama, she started getting like hundreds of thousands of views. And that's the thing. I don't call her a grifter. I just say she moved on to what she saw actually fit. And at that point, if you see that it does well for you, then you're going to stay there. But this is a bad thing that she did. This is Alicia. Remember the person who got hacked, who got crypto scam hacked, and they took her channels away, and then she eventually got them back. Yes, she is a person who suffered from cancer. Yes, she is a person who still has intermission, all that kind of stuff. But I never, when I mentioned Alicia, I never mentioned, like, in my titles, cancer, 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 because that's, like, that's using someone's misfortune for your fortune, you know? And she says herself, bro, what the F is this title? Clickbaiting, my cancer is insane. Reacting to my update video is totally fine, but holy S the title ethic doesn't exist when there's an ad rev to be made i guess vtuber with cancer got hacked that's what she's talking about she's angry at this um the title changed to vtuber in remission now i still have cancer my main mass is gone remission will be further after my final two malignant spots are gone dang can't we call me the funny vtuber or something i don't even click my cancer and i have it that's the comment this s is so exhausting one there are comments in the section thinking i'm still hacked now which isn't which i'm not two my cancer isn't YouTube money glitch. F off. There you go. She deleted the, the video. Thank you for your support, everyone. Glad she reached out and tried to mend things. She also paid me the ad revenue from the video as an apology. That's interesting. That's the first time I've heard anyone do that. Stuff like this is really frustrating and upsetting when feeling like I'm being defined by my illness. I appreciate the support and empathy you all have shown me. Mentioning it in the videos is fine. My cancer isn't a secret. But please, for future creators, don't use it as your title or thumbnail. Feels weird having to say this. But it's the second time this has happened in the past two days. I don't monetize my cancer, so please don't do it either. That's the thing. Like, she, if she has cancer, I mean, it's it's not right to monetize your 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 illness. But if you decide to do that, that is up to her. That is up to her, not me, not anyone else who is in this space. And I fully agree with her being angry that someone in the space did this to her. And uh, I don't like Cat Liente at all. Period. Uh, but you know, it is what it is, because. She is, she's been very much, Caliente has been doing a lot of VTuber takes as a pretty much a uh, visitor, a tourist, as you call it, not really knowing much. She even admits she doesn't know much of the VTuber community and she still comments on a lot of it. So um, that's what got, that's gotten a lot of people angry at her. It's gotten a lot of people frustrated and it's understandable. I'm glad Alicia got some justice in this whole thing and I'm glad this can be put behind her. Matara blocked Mint and Mint blocked Matara. It is war they say they, they're they're at, they're at war they say of course this is all a joke this is all rumor this is all freaking but i have to put it out there i have to put it out there because people are going to be talking about it people are going to be like why didn't you cover this here we go uh matara she will pay for this with her body mint all dori dori keikaku tl note i have a stroke for second tl2 keikaku means plan love those two dorks right here mint blocked me on twitter good good honestly i should have blocked her on twitter I honestly should have blocked her on Twitter. It's what she deserves. It's truly what she deserves. Honestly, yeah, she deserve. I should have blocked her on Twitter. Any idea why she blocked me? What did I do? All I did was was time her out for like 30 days. Mint Phantom, my stinky GF. I won't come for Thanksgiving. And meet your Jima. <laughs> and your stinky little cat. And play, and play, and play. Your slot machine, uh, your your metal, your MGS pachinko slot machine. If you don't untime me out at once, why am I blocked? I, I blocked her. He said, I blocked her. I blocked her as well. I'll tell Kojima about this. All I did was time her out for like 30 days, but she deserved it. I didn't do anything. I didn't it's do anything. It's war. I didn't even. It's war. See Kojimbo yet. I didn't even do anything to mint. Why would she time me out? She could still see my profile picture, even if she blocked me. She could still see my profile picture even if she blocked me. Even though she also, like I said, banned I me. To be super duper long. She timed so me it out. It might kind of be you not bored. a speed run, but uh, <laughs> just kind of let's sing some songs. With some duo. Internet. Oh, not my internet. My uh, my my electricity cut out. <laughs> the first person, which probably no one is surprised about. Uh, um. Oh wait, hold on. Uh. Oh, my tower. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> here, and Hi. this is my favorite song in Citadel space. Yes. Will not get.
There we go. So it, it's a joke. Everyone should know it's a joke. They don't, they, they don't actually hate each other. They won't actually hate each other. But I had to put it out there just for everybody. Pookie, wonderful Pookie, is, of course, you know, she has VFP Kingdom. She has her new album and all this other stuff. Big content that's going to be coming up soon. She has all that coming out. Recently, though, she did pop out with actually Sakura Miko, Hoshimachi Suisei. What a surprise. Sokonbu. Various things happen at Fubu Kingdom Festa. Don't forget to repair the glow sticks. Here we go. This is a concert that she had earlier uh, in the week. Well, it, it was done on 11-4-2024, in case if you're seeing this later. It's on her channel, and it's live. It was live at one point. Again, I can't put a lot of it. I can't put a lot of the music, but you know It is very cute, very cute, very cute. And here we go. Suisse and Miko. Because remember how life has a card game out now. They're just playing some of the, that, that, that. Nice. Very cute. So very cute. She did a song as a skombu. Oh my god. That is just cute. Okay, she had that. This is what I'm talking about when I say that a company cares. They care about Fubuki. They're pushing Fubuki for the concert, for the album, for all this other stuff. And you see the kind of work they have. And by the way, just reminding you, they are getting Unreal Engine 5 engineers. So they're going to be switching a lot of their things to Unreal Engine more than likely. The backgrounds for this are going to be Unreal Engine. It's going to be so much better. The, the Hollow No Graffiti is probably going to be happening that way. Just give you guys an idea of what's going to be happening. And that was it. That was Fubu Kingdom. Wanted to give you guys a good little rundown of everything because, ah, Fubuki is the canary in the coal mine for Hollow Live. Remember, she said, as long as Hollow Live remains a good place, you're going to find me here. And, and she's been giving Steven so much. She's been there since the pretty much, since as early as you can be, other than, you know, Sora and Miko. Pretty much, she's been there for a long time. And I'm so glad to see that she's getting things like this. And so is Miko, and so are Suisei, and so is Marine, and other ones. I love it. Annie Deal is re-releasing some things from its Noel. I had made a mistake. I thought it was Suisei in the far, far right, but it's Amane Kanata. Uh, Subaru, Noel, Shion, Pekora, and I don't know who the bottom right is. I think it's Chloe, but it may be wrong. I've been wrong before. I was wrong about the top right where I thought it was Suisei originally, but it ended up being Amane Kanata. What are they releasing? They decided to re-release the first and second editions of the highly requested perfume. What's more, it's available for pre-sale at Loft Chiba and Sakai stores for November 12th. Plus, new products such as different diffusers and acrylic stands are also available. Please check out down here for details. Here's other things. There's little stickers. There's small posters. There's keychains. There's acrylic stands. There's acrylic photos. There's the diffusers. These are all in Japanese yen. Of course, you can translate that to your uh, currency. Uh, I'm not sure they're going to be doing anything outside of Japan, though. So it's unfortunate. You have Amane Kanata also talking about it. Over here, resale decided, plus new merchandise and room diffusers. Refreshing citrus scent that Kanataso checked and supervised over and over again. I love it, so be sure to check it out. Each of the girls have checked their scents as you know Nidhi Sanji also has those things but right now we're talking about Hololive each of the girls has covered the scents and covered the things that go on with everything 
uh, and they're making sure, you know, everything works properly. Everything is done well. So I like that. I'm glad that they have that. And this is one thing that Cover has over other agencies. And also there are small agencies that do it. But right now, you know, Cover is the main focus. Stell Live KR, Korea, South Korea, is having some issues recently where now they're having uh, VTubers graduate for their own personal reasons, as all VTubers have the right to do. But it's interesting that two of them are doing it pretty soon. Who are the ones that are doing it? Ari, ID Kana KR is doing it. She's AV singer with them. Uh, the, the bio says, ID Kana from Stell Live. Debut 20, uh, 23107. My beloved mama, beloved papa, fan art is that one there. Why am I talking about them? They've recently put out something in Korean, of course. And here we go. I'm ID first generation member of Stella Live. I ID Kana, I'll be graduating from Stella, Stella Live on, or Stella Live on December 2nd, 2024. The graduation date was decided after sufficient discussion with the company, and I would like to first apologize to the fans who were surprised by the sudden news. Since the founding of Stella Live, we have been together for two years, thanks to the support of Kang. Kangji and other staff members who have allowed me to continue my activities and everyone's love and interest. I'm now able to become the ID Kana I am today. I would like to express my gratitude as well. You know, after debuting, I was able to experience and do many activities still, still live. I was able to grow a great idol while sharing both happy and sad moments with my precious colleagues. All those moments were really enjoyable to me and they remain as my precious times. The final graduation broadcast is scheduled for December 2nd. Hope you make many happy memories with Kana during your remaining month. I was happy to meet the scales and never forget them. We will talk about the detailed story and later on the live broadcast at 1530. And we also have another one mentioned by Still Live here. Um, basically, the uh, there wasn't two. I made a mistake there. I apologize, not two. This was actually Still Live having their, um, their response to this whole thing. So my apologies, it wasn't two, it was just one. It's ID Kana. Uh, we would like to express our gratitude with everyone that sent warm support to Stell Live. We would like to inform you that ID Kana, a member, will be graduating December 2nd. She was a member of the first generation of Stell Live and has been a member for about two years. But an important member who started out Stell Live and led growth. I'm very sorry for causing unexpected shock and concern to fans. Basically, the same boilerplate thank you. Uh, we have set the ID Kana's graduation up an offer in consideration of her wishes. We express our deepest gratitude in our activities to date. Last broadcast is scheduled to take place on December 2nd, ID Kana's graduation day. Uh, in addition, regarding to handling of ID Kana related products other than those mentioned above, we would like to provide separate information on the official Stell Live SNS uh, according to the schedule uh, later, uh, that she has at a later date. So yeah, basically saying... As of November 4th, that has been accepted. It's going to be basically for about a month, a little bit less than a month that she's going to be staying there. So that is sad for her community. Sad for anybody that had anything to do with it and had, you know, wanted to uh, continue with her for as long as they've been able to. And um, of course, I am glad to see that it is being done in a proper way and in a positive. We have some good news. In general, I mean, there are some people, of course, if you're overly parasocial, this is not going to be a fun news for you. But for most people, whether they're parasocial or not, they will enjoy this. Kana de Canon from Nanashinku, which is 774 Inc., has given birth to a healthy baby and has become a mom. Not every agency is like, oh, you can't have children, you can't have anything. Even a hollow life allows people to have marriages as we know with uh rushia she was married and you know i'm pretty sure other people in there are married or are dating or whatever as long as you don't mix it with everything else that's going on usually it's fine she's a mom now it's gonna disappoint some people because you know some people are a little bit too wild but it's all good i don't know who she is she's always happy to see someone have a child and being happy about it and it's of course they're gonna have a stream later on explaining her new chapter in life and uh, of course we're gonna talk about that as well because she did actually go through that but let me go through the story first it is here she's saying here news from kanan hanaso and uh here we go thank you everyone who's always supported hanaso kanon this time kanon hanaso has a new member in her family i plan to tell you more about it in today's broadcast i am not common for a female vtuber affiliated with a company to announce her pregnancy and childbirth publicly, so I'm very grateful to the management of Nanashi Inc. for giving me permission to make this public. Although there have been some changes in my private life, my activities will remain basically the same. I look forward to your continued support. And here she goes, of course, going over here, mentioning everything. She didn't know the timing of it. She didn't know the correct time. And like, she's starting a family. So she decided to report on the birth because she first was like wondering, is this going to be good? Is it going to be bad? Are people going to be angry? Are people going to be happy? She decided it's a happy moment for her life that she wants to share with her community. And I'm pretty sure her community is going to be fine with that. Most communities are perfectly fine with that. So I have no qualms about what's happening. And I know that things are going to be fine with her specifically. So that is one thing I wanted to mention to you guys. 
Of course, I always give my opinions on everything like that. Whether they're warranted or not, I always give my opinions. I try to make it a little bit different than just a regular boring newscast. Emotional Nintendo Code Redeem. Uh, what are they talking about? Basically, from what I understand, from what I've read down here, uh, 7,000 people were in stream. Some people super chatted a Nintendo code for um, several Nintendo codes for uh, Mint to see and Mint to to get, grab and gather and get for, you know, games and things like that. So she can get games, she can get things like that for the Nintendo Switch. And uh, no one grabbed other than her. By the time she went to, from what it looks like, from the time that she went to actually go and grab them, they were still free. They were still available which is awesome. Oh, the eShop, hold on. <laughs> I forgot that I have to pay. Hopefully I have the money. <gasps> 39. I don't have enough money. I have to get another card. I have 220 yen. Usually I like ask a friend in Japan to get me an, an eShop card, but I didn't think about it. Ah, it's okay, I can still sing this song. So I'm sorry guys, I didn't check before. That's my fault for not checking before stream. <clears throat> VTuber no money. VTuber no money. Could an eShop card be sent through Super Chat? Would it have to be a JP card? Um, I guess technically the code could be sent through Super Chat, but that won't stop people. That wouldn't stop people from using the code. <laughs> Other than me, <laughs> it would have to be in JP. Yeah. Yen card. Oh, oh, it's not real. You, you. <laughs> I was like, oh god. <laughs> Someone give the Wait, code. Wait, real? Wait. Are those real? Are those real? <laughs> Wait. No, no way. No, no, no. I lost it. Ah, I have it. Ah! Oh. Ah! Are these real? Check your email. What do you mean check my email? Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. Hold on. I need to get it up. Oh, 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 oh I need to get it up. Oh, that one. Oh, the first one didn't work. Oh my god. Back, 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 back. In the chat. I don't want you to waste your money. I don't want you to waste your money. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if this works. <gasps> but it's too much money. It's one, it's one thousand five hundred yen. Oh my gosh. Binary goes to <laughs> It works. Good. It. Oh my God, Gylem, what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I redeem? You guys, I'm gonna redeem it both. I don't want you to waste your money. I don't want you to waste. <gasps> Five thousand! Ah! Thank you! <laughs> that oh, is so I got awesome. them! I got them! them. I got them! It worked! <laughs> and that is awesome. And that is great that the people that were in the chat didn't also. Uh, redeem them. That is one of those moments where um, you can have at least some goodness in the in the heart of people, some happiness in the heart of people being like, you know what, let's let her have this. Let's let her have this code. Let's let her have this 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 time, this this whole thing. It's amazing to have a community like this. I have a community that is the same way that if I need something, they'll freaking try to do that. That's why I try to mention that. I, don't, <laughs> I try not to mention things because then they're going to freaking super chat the, the whole world away. And I really do appreciate that. But it's great for people to have that and not have to worry about people grabbing it because that like almost immediately people will grab the codes in other places like it's just it's just the way the internet works that's why she's like i don't want you to waste your money but then you know they didn't they didn't waste the money and they actually got it done very very nice and just to give you guys a little bit more uh since i watched a little bit more and there's actually a good moment that comes up here is her thanking the community for not redeeming it gosh thank you guys oh you guys you chat were so good oh my gosh you guys are didn't redeem it how, how, oh, you guys are so good. Oh my gosh. You guys are so nice. <laughs> I can't believe you guys didn't redeem it before me. <laughs> I can't believe you guys were so, we're so, we're so respectful. That's, <laughs> oh, that never happens. Oh my God. <laughs> there could have been anybody who like just, who just, uh, who just came into chat and was like, oh, I'm going to take that now. <laughs> Gosh, thank you guys. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> that's insane. There's so many people here and, and not a single person took it. How is that possible? Oh my gosh. And there you go. Just wanted to give you guys that extra little bit of uh, her reacting to people not taking it. And thank you for that community. That community is amazing. To not take it is. Welcome back everybody to the VTuber Showcase, the place where I like to showcase up and coming VTubers, VTubers of all sizes, types, forms, everything you want to call it and also just pushing forward the positivity in the community, pushing forward and helping people grow in any single way I can, because I want the community to be positive and pay it forward and not be a big competition. So here we go. Mike Amalo, uh, hola, hola, aloha, a Latina, Latina tropical VTuber, streams Thursday to Saturday, 8 a.m. PS, AST, 8 p.m. AST. And here we go. There, Here is their Twitch. It's uh, Latina tropical VTuber. 
It says, welcome to my tiny island Bermuda Triangle. I was deserted here after getting lost at sea and I'm the only survivor. Please come visit me. All I have are coconuts and faces I carved. Birthday, June 20th. Debut, 17th of October, 2021. English and Spanish, Puerto Rican, and epileptic. So she's epileptic as well. Let's take a look at some things that they've had to do in the past. Is that a boy I smell? <laughs> yes! I smell it! Boy smell! I smell a boy! <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. She's doing a little bit of role play there. That's, that's hilarious, though. That's hilarious. Of course, here, you also have this. She does that too. She's done that too. Micah Malo is, uh, here is their YouTube side. They seem like a pretty chill person. So thank you so much for letting me showcase you on my channel. I do hope that this brings a couple of more eyes to you. And uh, now that I've showcased your content, hopefully, you know, it helps you grow, at least in some way. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.